The exuberant Nino LaRocca has flash danced to a ring ranking of fourth in the welterweight division, a division beginning to fill up with some solid as well as flashy talent. And who better to examine this welter of new talent in the room than Ray Leonard, who left it empty when he retired. Ray, two welterweight championship fights coming up, a rematch of McCrory and Jones. Who do you like? No, I like McCrory. I think that the first time around, he made a mistake. He was not aggressive. And I'm sure this time he should be able to capitalize on his mistakes and be more aggressive. Well, I'm going to differ with you on this one. I like Jones. <laughs> I thought he won the first time. Curry and Stafford. I like Donald Curry. First of all, he's a champion, and he's proved himself. And I'm sure he's going to retain his title. When the smoke is clear, which one of these young men is going to be the next Ray Leonard? Well, I don't know about that. But being redundant, I like Donald Curry because he's proven himself. He is the champion. But I really feel it's just too early to put these guys in slots now. A few more fights. Thanks, Ray. Nino LaRocca will make his American debut next month on the undercard of Ray Mancini's return from an injury. Aside from the vowel endings to their names, two prize fighters couldn't be more dissimilar. Ray Leonard took a look at Ray Mancini's maniacal training regimen. Youngstown, Ohio is the home of world lightweight champion Ray Boom Boom Mancini. It's impossible to become champion without hours of training and dedication. But Ray Boom Boom Mancini takes it one step further. He trains every day as though it was a main event. times, Ray risked injury. Mancini's mate fight with Kenny Bogner was canceled because he broke his collarbone in training. Ray, most boxers train for a fight. You actually work for a fight. Why do you work so hard and so long? First of all, Ray, um, I train very hard, yes, because I think because of my style, I must train hard. That's a physical fight for me. Any, any fight I'm going to be in, I have to use my uh, physical aggressiveness, my strength, and I have to train that way. He's at a disadvantage going in there trying to fight guys, because most of the guys he's going to fight are going to be taller than him anyway. So his force is going to have to be strength. He's going to have to be strong physically and durable. Murphy has developed some very unusual training techniques to work on Mancini's strength. One of them is punching with an inner tube. Maybe it's like an um, isometric type of exercise where you're pushing against one force and it's pulling on the other way. You roll on it, Ray, and it, and it, it just digs into you and it toughens you up. I roll on the lower back, each side, to toughen and firm up the muscles. It'll have me jump on a tarot and, and you get up and your arm, your legs have got to be strong after you do, you know, do that over a period of time. Your legs have to be strong. Like I said, between fights, I like to work a lot of Nautilus. Uh, it keeps me loose and it keeps me strong and it doesn't let my muscles get too flat. I don't do any Nautilus during uh, training camp. I have enough to work in the gym to keep me occupied. The swimming pool is, again, an old technique that a lot of fighters haven't done. The water force against your muscles. You know, you're trying to throw punches underwater and, you know, it's, it's tough. You know, when I get out of the pool and I get in the ring, I, can, um, I have to stamina and I have the strength to throw more punches at a, at a greater rate. When it's all put together in a fight, Ray Mancini uses his strength and power to throw a series of combinations without towering. But the big question from the critics is, with Ray's style of fighting, how long will his career in the ring last? You know, I, I don't feel I'm beat up in the sense that I, I have taken too many punches. On TV, it looks like I'm getting hit. To the crowd, it may look like I'm getting hit, but I'm really riding with the punches. Uh, sure, I get hit with a few shots, but I'll do anything I have to to win, to hold on to my title. And if, whether it, it takes, uh, it means take a few punches, taste my own blood or whatever it takes to win that, t to keep, hold on to my title, I'll do it. It's obvious that Ray Boom Boom Mancini would never lose a fight because he is out of shape. He prepares for every fight with the same intensity of a championship fight. But then there's the question of the longevity in a fighter's career. 
And for this dedicated fighter, only time will tell. Ray, you were a diligent trainer, but I don't recall you doing all those exotic exercises. Larry, that would have been impossible for me. But I think with a fighter like Ray Mancini, his style, and train, he trained so religiously to break up the drudgery, he needs those bizarre techniques. Within the next year or so, many of you will see a television movie about Ray Mancini, produced by Rocky himself, Sylvester Stallone. Now Stallone is...